Well, hello, everybody. It's Mega here, your girl, with Higher Power Tarot. And today we're going to be doing a reading um, that may or may not resonate with you. It's going to be a channeled oracle slash tarot reading. Okay. Um, it is going to be for any sign. Um, if this resonates for you, go ahead and um, take the messages. If it doesn't resonate, please leave the messages for somebody um, to which it does resonate. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I can't stress enough how much this helps me grow, and it also helps my messages get out to people who need them. So, with that being said, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this started. And I want to thank you guys for always tuning in, subscribing, and um, just being there, okay? I can't stress that enough. So, Spirit, what do we have for my viewer in their situation? We have my family got involved and I had to choose. Okay. You're too good for me, to be honest. So what I'm getting is obviously there was some sort of family involvement here. Uh, maybe a mother or father and or father figure got involved. Perhaps um, brothers and sisters or even cousins. But in, in, any, in any case, there was definitely some family involvement here with your situation. <clears throat> okay, we have I was just using you. Hmm. We have, I never took this serious enough. All right. So this person just seems like kind of like a douche, to be honest with you. Um, so I was just using you and I never took this serious enough. So what exactly were they doing in the connection? Okay. Were they just, I mean, they obviously were just taking from you and not really giving back. That's what it seems like. Those flew out, so I'm just going to take them. We have, I don't have any words left. I feel like this is you, okay? I feel like you had some words with this person. And um, whatever you guys said to each other, it must have been pretty harsh, huh? We have, the grass was not greener. And then we have twin flame. Okay, so although this person may be your twin flame, there definitely was something that this person needed to learn. And um, I do feel like they are going to be in a seriously long process of learning what this uh, connection was supposed to teach them, right? I do feel like there was a lot of immaturity here. I feel like this person just... Um, you know, it doesn't matter what age they were, but they definitely were not on your level when it came to the maturity of this connection. Okay. One second. Sorry, guys. All right. What else do we have for my viewer and their connection here? We have, I never understood what you saw in me. And we have, now is not the time. Yeah. Now is definitely not the time. This person has a lot of growing up to do. We have, be more selfish. Okay. I think you need to be more selfish with, um, the things in your life that you're needing we have i get scared easily uh 
Okay, again, I said what I said. So <clears throat> I don't know. I'm really getting the sense that you guys had a verbal, <laughs> just an all out verbal conflict. Okay, just an all out verbal uh, war with this person. Okay, you guys might have exchanged some really harsh things. Okay, uh, they might have said some pretty, some pretty negative things to you. Hey, how are you doing awake? Thanks for tuning in. We have, I wasn't ready for all that love. And then under the deck, we have, if I follow you, I could lose everything. Okay, so I am getting the sense that, yeah, this is definitely you to them. Um, if you were to continue in this connection with this person, you definitely would lose everything that you've worked so hard to get on your own here. Okay. I feel like this person's just a sabotager. This person's just somebody who just flaps their gums and, you know, just is always saying something rude or something negative to you and just putting you down. Okay. And I don't feel like that's something that you need in your life, especially now. So let's go ahead and... Pull some more. <clears throat> Spirit, what do you have for my viewer and their person? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of blue, which is the color of the throat chakra, okay? So yeah, there was definitely... Here, see, like I said, blue, blue, okay? This is the actual throat chakra, the fifth chakra. Go ahead and leave in the comments uh, what was what was said between you and this person. I'm interested. What did this person say to you? Okay. Oh, we got three. We already got three here. Okay, we have number 42 or number six. We have woman holding a coin. We have number 34 or number seven, door to personal healing and happiness. And then we have 52 or seven, again, goddess of the moon. So there is some cancer energy here. And we have some earth energy as well with this woman holding a coin. <clears throat> so let's see. So with this woman holding a coin, it doesn't have to be a female or male, okay? It's just a, it's just an energy, right? Somebody here was more empathetic. Somebody here was more of the divine feminine energy, okay? Because this is divine feminine energy. And whoever this was, this person has a connection in money and a connection in value, okay? I feel like... I feel like it's you, okay? I feel like you are somebody who's successful in everything that they they put their heart and mind to. Somebody who is um, supportive and assisting. So I feel like you really supported this person financially, okay? I feel like this person didn't have the means to support themselves financially and they kind of just, um, they kind of used you, okay, for your for your success and for your money. Okay. You are definitely a person of value, whether you are technically somebody that does have a lot of money or whether you just are valuable in general, you're just a valuable person. Okay. You have everything. Um, you're very abundant because we do have the door to personal healing and happiness, uh, number 34. And what this signifies to me is that you're also somebody who is um, starting a new beginning in their own life, right? It's like you're starting a new beginning without this person and um, you're healing. You're healing from whatever this connection has done to you, okay? I feel like you're making some changes externally, right? Maybe you are finding a new place to live. Maybe you are... Um, Maybe you're opening up to new opportunities, okay, that are coming to you. And I do feel like you've been working on some changes and you're going to see some pretty um, incredible results here, okay? You're very optimistic. 
<clears throat> you're also very intuitive. Okay, with this goddess of the moon. This is um Cancer and Piscean energy, so you could have that in your chart. But like I said, um, I feel like you have it all here, okay? And this person knows that. That's why this person was um, was trying to use you for all of your abundance, okay? This is um, you being able to, to see things for what they are. And you have the power of intuition, right? It's like you are very intuitive and you get information. It's almost like you don't even need to find things out. It's like your intuition just tells you about it. OK, um, uh, you might even be getting the urge right now to take a different route on things. You might be trying to do things differently in your right in your life. Um, now, this is just a side note. This doesn't have to be for everybody, but I feel like a lot of you are getting ideas for some inventions, perhaps, and maybe putting that into uh, fruition here. Um, you could be a stock investor, you could be a writer, but you're definitely a little bit psychic. Okay. Um, and I feel like you've always been blessed with this ability here to connect. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some tarot. Okay. Spirit, what do you have for my viewer and their connection? Or better yet, what is the energies of my viewer's person, please? Show me the energies of my viewer's person. I have some Gemini and Virgo energy here. Last shuffle. Okay. We have the four pentacles. Okay. You definitely are a stable person. You're very stable. I feel like you were the most stable in this connection. Okay. You have everything going for you. And I feel like this person is the opposite. We have the star. Okay. This is Aquarius energy. This is you healing, okay? This is you giving hope to your situation even. But this is definitely you looking to um, a more optimistic healing point of view of this connection. All right, let's do one more. For, oh, I'll take them. And under the deck, we have the Queen of Cups, okay? This is water energy. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Yeah, um, whoever this is, you are the divine feminine. You are the empathetic one. You are the one that showed love here. With this Three of Pentacles, this could be a business endeavor um, between you and perhaps even two other people. We have the hanged man, some more Pisces energy upside down here in the reversed. And then we have the fool. So we have Aries energy. Okay. Upright. This is, um, now this could be you or your person, right? But I'm getting more of the feeling that this is you, um, not your person here. Sorry, one second. Okay. Okay. So yeah, like I said, you have your stability here, okay? You um, you might have even taken care of this person financially. You definitely took care of them emotionally, okay? You're healing right now. And like I said, with this three of pentacles, um, I do feel like there is some sort of success and new doors opening up for you. I feel like um, if you put yourself out there, Instead of in feeling um, intimidated about any connections, okay, I feel like you will have people come to you that motivate you and that inspire you. Um, and I feel like you're going to make a romantic connection through some sort of a friend endeavor. So you could be hanging out with friends one day and I feel like um, you're going to meet somebody through friends.
We have the hanged man reversed here, and this is all about being impatient. Okay, you might even be thinking a little bit that your current situation is not moving forward. But I feel like um, you shouldn't fight your current circumstances, right? And you shouldn't fight or force anything. You shouldn't force any forward movement because you do have the, the fool card. And this is all about risk. This is about new beginning. This is about freedom. And this is what you have now since this person's not in your life. Okay, if there is a situation where you think um, there's new love coming in for you, this is definitely a sign for you to take a chance on it. Okay, and if not, definitely be open to a new beginning and trust your intuition. And whatever is in the past, you need to leave it behind. Okay, it's definitely an energy of leaving the past behind here. Okay. Somebody may have been envious in this connection, okay? Somebody might have been deceitful. I did get that in my last reading as well. But look at what we do have coming in for you. And we have love and we have growth, okay? Two beautiful things coming in for you. Okay, so this came out in the reverse, which makes me feel like this person feels guilty, not you. Okay, so this is I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. This person definitely feels guilty about the connection because they definitely did something here to sabotage it. Okay. more please yep i can't make this up right so we do have envy okay um there was people that were involved in this connection that were envious whether it be your person or whether it be a third party somebody was trying to i'm getting the word sabotage there's sabotage here Look at that. We have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. I feel like you're now in a sense of peace ever since this person's been out of your life. You've been you've been learning how to live in a in an energy of peace now. And then yep, we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Very awesome, right? So here we have your person's energy up here. And down here, we have your energy. And then under the deck, we have success. I know that there's no greater goal than to love, okay? This is you loving yourself and bringing in this abundance of success to yourself. Spirit, what messages do we have for my viewer, please, regarding their connection? Three cards, please. So we have heart with a key, all right? This is welcoming love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together and perfect. Okay, so this is what I was saying when I feel like you're going to meet someone through friends. Um, if this hasn't already happened, but I do feel like you're going to open up here and this person could be the one, okay? If this has already happened... Or if and when this does happen, please, please leave me a comment. I'd be really interested to find out. So we have palm tree. Okay, this is, again, stability, security, 
um, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. This is you, okay? Like I said, you have the stability. You are secure in yourself. Um, and growth and endurance and flexibility is definitely in your future here. We have clock. So this is need time, takes time, in time, okay? These are cycles and this is time to heal and progress. And then last but not least, we have hand of cards, okay? So this is take a chance, a risk. This also goes with the fool card that I pulled here. This is being strategic, options, not showing your hand, and gambling. So yeah, I feel like you think you're going to be taking a risk with this new person, right? Let's do one more. Oh, that's way too many. Way too many. I'm going to take this one. So we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So whoever this new person is, you're going to have a lot of fun with them. Okay. You're going to enjoy each other's company. Um, this person's going to bring joy to you that you probably have not experienced in a very long time. Okay. Last but not least, let's go ahead and pull some of these. All right. Spirit, what does my viewer need to be doing at this time? Let's pull three, please. Oh, there we go. There's three. Oh, actually, <laughs> that's five. Just kidding. That's fine. I'll take them all. All right. So we have rest. Okay. Number 43 or number seven. I feel like you are either getting a lot of rest now. Okay. You're feeling better. You're feeling like you can actually just relax. Or this is something that you need to do. We have number 15 or number six. This is connect you with your womb. You guys could be, uh, you guys could have children. You could have just had a child or um, something to do with your, your sexual organs, okay? Even if you're a male. We have dance, okay? Number 18 or number nine. Okay, this is you maybe going out and having fun with friends. <clears throat> We have number 51. This is sync with the moon. Again, so a little bit of cancer and Piscean energy here. And then last but not least, we have number nine. Watch a movie. Okay, this could be you. You could even have a cat. You could just be, you know, relaxing at home or relaxing with friends and family or whatever, just watching movies. So we have um, seven, six, nine, six, nine. Okay, these numbers could resonate with you. Okay, they could be something about something that has to do with your birthday, but definitely um, number six is a is a um, is love. So I do feel like some new love is definitely coming in for you, and then nine is almost completion. So you're like you're right at a completion of a cycle. Okay. Okay, so I hope that these messages resonated for you. Uh, please, like I said, like, share, and subscribe, and even hit that notification bell on my channel, okay, so that you can get notifications of when I upload. Thank you for tuning in again. If you guys need a personal reading, please check out my description. By my description, uh, I please check out my information in the description box as I am taking donations for personal readings. Okay, I don't have a set price right now. Um, and then once again, thank you guys. As always, I will see you soon. Bye.